Hey, it's Jared with Gear and Light. Today we're gonna to take a look at camera wrist straps. I've got five of them here from Amazon. They're all relatively well priced. And I've been looking to a camera strap because I'm not so much using a full strap, like a shoulder strap anymore, as I've been shooting a lot less long, long events, day long, multi-day events, where I would use a shoulder strap because I needed my cameras on me at all time. But now that I'm shooting smaller things, uh, even just stuff around here in the studio, I'm looking to better secure my cameras uh, by providing just a strap that goes over the wrist. And in my search to find one that works for me, I ended up looking at five different wrist straps. So we're gonna look at those together. I'll have links down in the description for you so you can check them out as well. And then of course, if you have any questions about them, you can ask down in the comment section. So the first one that we're looking at is uh, a basic camera strap. It's a comfortable cotton camera strap. It states here in the description. And I found this one on Amazon with some good reviews. And so I thought I would give it a look. So very simple camera strap here that is something that you're basically just going to put your wrist through and then hold onto the camera. Now on the strap here, you can see that it has uh, both like a hole for maybe a quarter 20 mount, and then it also has a, a key ring type of attachment here. And so depending on what you have on your camera, you can attach it accordingly. So for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and run this little ring around the ring that is already on my Sony, or of course I could remove that and then just go straight into the camera body, the hole on the camera body. So let's just rotate this in here and now we've got it attached. So as you can see, very simple, just very simple camera strap that I'm gonna put my wrist through, my hand through, and then I hold the camera like so. And what's nice about this is that it is something that will support my camera. Uh, you know, if I let go of the camera, my wrist is going to grab it. Now, if my hand was down low, of course, this could always slip off of my hand and the camera could still fall, but this is gonna provide a good amount of support. And as you can see here, it also has a slide that helps it get tighter. And so now, as you can see, if I hang my camera down, it's not going to slide off of my wrist. And so what I like about this is just the simplicity of it. It doesn't add a lot to my camera that I can't easily remove. Of course, I would have to use this little ring, but I could also uh, utilize a quick detach type of, of ring or something like that. Uh, perhaps the Peak Design uh, device that just makes it really easy to quick release. But so far, you know, this is not a bad option. It has, uh, you know, kind of a fake leather look, so it's not, you know, super high-end leather, but this is very soft, this rope, I guess you'd call it, uh, like it said, very soft cotton feel. And so that's a great start. I think this would be an option uh, for me, especially around in the studio, where my main concern is not necessarily having more wrist support uh, and distribution of weight as it is just having a way to protect my camera from falling. And this would also be a good option. So this is my, my Sony A1, but that would also be a good option here on the A7C as well. I could attach this on the A7C and have the same sort of support on that camera. So let's move to one that's a little bit more involved. This is the rapid fire hand strap from Altura Photo. And this one is a little bit more involved of a camera strap. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. As you can see here, it has a camera strap and also has a mounting point for the base of your camera. So this may or may not work depending on the setup of your camera. For me, if I had uh, some sort of an attachment on the bottom of my camera, which on my A1 I do, this is gonna be a little bit more challenging to attach. And so we have the uh, strap up here that would go and connect to the ring on our camera. And so I'll just go ahead and pull that through. And then we're gonna go and attach the base. And so you wanna make sure there aren't any twists here. And we're just gonna attach the base. I'll just attach it right here. Now, if you did have a, a different type of attachment on the base of your camera, or perhaps had an additional ring on the bottom of your camera, maybe you have a different model of camera, you could forego this attachment and not have to use it. 
So for me, this is way too large. I'm going to need to tighten this down substantially just to make sure that uh, I can get this gripping my, my hand. So we'll go ahead and route this back through and get this nice and tight. So this camera strap obviously is going to work good for cameras of all sizes, especially much larger cameras. And so I'm gonna need now to adjust it a little bit on the top side. So we'll pull a little bit back out and we will tighten up this attachment. All right, so I, I have that pretty tight. That's pretty tight on there right now. Um, there's plenty of room for my hand still to fit in here. It's not pulling on my hand or doing anything weird here underneath. Um, the, the leather feel and the soft padding underneath it is breathable and very comfortable on my hand. These additional little straps I could then tuck in here. And so I could tuck them into the rest of the grip to keep them out of the way so that they're not flopping around and getting in my way. That is something that I could spend a few moments doing off camera. Uh, and then it also has this additional strap here that can then go uh, probably around my wrist if I wanted to, um, or I can attach it to something else. And so what I would do after putting this on my hand is take this strap and put it around my wrist. And so it would go all the way around like so. So now I have multiple support points here where my camera feels very safe and I could shake it around, even go at different angles and I feel like my camera is very safe and secure. And this is, this is tighter. This fits my hand a lot more snug than something like a simple rope that I just wrap around my wrist. But I feel very secure with this. And it also kind of gets a lot of that pressure off of my fingertips of having to hold the camera and distributes a little bit of that weight to the back of my wrist here. So I have, uh, it's not gonna be so strenuous over time. Now this does limit the rotation of my hand a little bit, which may be good depending on your shooting style. I could definitely still get around to shoot vertical, even though I might need to make some finer adjustments here just so that I can get my finger to the shutter button as uh, these smaller camera bodies don't have as much up higher than the shutter. And so it takes a little bit of, <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit of adjustment to utilize this camera strap. But the Alturo, camera strap definitely is comfortable and I feel like this is something that can support me for the long haul. All right, so let's move on to something a little bit different. This is a hand grip from Small Rig that mounts to a camera cage. And really it could mount to other cameras if you have a loop on the top and the bottom of your camera. But this was designed for their camera cage. And so if you're looking for something really just to protect your camera, then a camera cage is a great option. They're making these camera cages so good and small these days that you have a lot of support on your camera without adding a lot of bulk to it. And so if I mount my A7C into this camera cage, as you can see here, I have protection all the way around and then I can attach that right on the base using the including tool. I can screw this into the quarter 20 on the bottom of the camera and then the camera is attached and I have a nice little tool there for whenever I need it. But then I've got a camera strap on here as well. And this camera strap is small and simple and it feels good and it keeps my camera nice and safe and secure around my wrist. And so this is a great setup because not only is it protecting my entire camera, but it's protecting my camera from being dropped as well. The grip, the wrist strap here is separate from the entire camera cage. And so you'd only really need the camera cage if you wanted to add additional protection around your camera. Uh, or of course, if your camera didn't have any bottom attachment point for the wrist strap to connect to. So these really work better together. And this camera cage adds quarter 20 mounts all the way around it. There is still uh, the, uh, accessible hot shoe here with the multi hot shoe. And then it also adds a cold shoe here as well as uh, additional mount points all the way around the camera. And then the bottom here is a Arca Swiss type of mount. And so mounting your camera to a tripod, if you have an Arca Swiss plate, you can just slide it right in and attach it. So, I mean, there's some pros as well to utilizing a camera cage like this. So if you're afraid of 
bumping your camera, something like that, a camera cage is gonna protect it, as well as give you a lot of additional options. So I included the small rig because they have a wrist strap. I use cages on a lot of my cameras, and now with the small rig wrist strap, gives me an option there to not only protect my camera, but also to keep it nice and secure. Let's look at one other style here of a, uh, of a, uh, a grip and this one is like a paracord and I knew that paracord would be strong uh, just because I've had paracord wrapped knives and I've used paracord before just to tie things down and paracord is very strong and so I thought I'd give this one a try. So this one just comes with uh, kind of a, a D-shaped ring on the top and so we would need a way to attach that. Well it does come with different attachment points here that I can put on my camera and uh, so I could pull one of those out and attach it right to my camera. Uh, because the ring on the camera on the Sony is relatively small, I might be able to get this in there, but I might want to use one of these rings that came with it just so that there'd be a little bit more uh, space there. So I'm going to put that ring on, which is relatively small. And so you go from having, you know, such a strong uh, piece of rope here and this D-ring to attaching it with this little tiny, uh, with this little tiny key ring which um, probably would be less supportive than if we had just went right into the Sony ring by itself, but it's totally up to you how you wanna do that. Um, this is still pretty, pretty strong as I'm pulling on it, and it provides a lot of grip. And so one thing that I might want to do is actually run this through before attaching it, and then attach it, and so that way I have a way to wrap my wrist around it. So let's just go ahead and do that. That's what I should have done first. And now I can run my wrist through the strap. I can tighten it down a bit here so you can see it's nice and tight around my wrist. And then I have the support for the camera. And this just kind of wraps around the back of my wrist and keeps it out of the way. Uh, you can see here it's totally out of my way. I can access all of my buttons and everything without hindrance from this strap. And so what I'm really liking about these simple straps is that it just protects the camera from falling. And so that is probably the biggest fear that I have is that my camera falls. These cameras are light enough these days to where I'm not worried about taking, you know, some of the weight off of my fingertips or off the front of my hand and pushing it down to the back of my wrist. But this type of camera strap just makes me feel more secure when I'm holding onto my camera for longer periods of time. So what I like about the paracord one is it's a little bit more, I guess, maybe masculine looking. Um, it is strong and I know I'm not going to break this. This is a very strong uh, piece of rope that is used for a lot of different purposes. But I mean, I could probably, I could probably tow a car with this. This is just so strong, so I'm not gonna have to worry about any issues there. So the last one we're gonna take a look at is a True Shot Dual Grip from USA Gear. This is the kind of strap that is built for those that are really holding their camera for long periods of time and want some additional support. So this strap should not only provide protection against drop, but also help support your camera with the weight of your camera a little bit as well, not having to be so much on your hand. So like most camera straps, uh, you can attach it with this little ring or you can utilize the ring that's already on your camera. Since my camera already has one, I'm not gonna add another one. So we'll just go ahead and pull the ring off like so. And then we will put it on the camera. And then it has a base, and so we'll attach this on the base of the camera. And let's see how it's adjusted first before I get too carried away. So what I like about this one is that it's very easy for me to slide it up and down on the camera. And so if it was a little bit in the way, I could slide it so that I could get better access to buttons and stuff because a camera strap like this is going to be a little bit more intrusive. And so I definitely will want this out of the way. And then we have a Velcro wrist strap here. So I could put the camera on my hand and then wrap this around my wrist. And with these two supports, my camera is not going anywhere. I could flip it around, really do whatever I want here, and it's not going to go anywhere. Even if for some reason my hand slipped out, I still have protection here beyond the wrist strap. 
and this is great. So if this is a little too much for every use case, then you can actually detach this and just go at it without the wrist strap. And so this is where the dual action comes into play. We don't have to use that if we don't want, but if you want a little bit extra support, you're carrying your camera out over something like water, and you just wanna make sure that your camera is not going anywhere, the wrist strap here that goes around the base of your arm is going to provide that extra protection. So I'm really liking this one. This is not one that I might use every single day, but when I'm out <laughs> shooting in those environments where I just want that added protection, this type of strap is definitely going to help uh, provide me with that peace of mind that uh, comes from having your camera just really attached to your body. And so these are five different straps, different types of straps that provide different functionality and definitely are either less or more intrusive to your camera. So there might be use cases for a couple of them, but the main thing is figuring out a way to get them attached to your camera and get them off of your camera pretty quickly. I think the Peak Design little puck snaps would be something that I might look at in the future for some of these, especially the rope style grips that uh, are just really for drop protection in my opinion. So in the future, I will definitely be using this particular strap, this USA gear strap, for um, you know more endurance activities when I'm out with my camera, I'm hiking, I'm running around and I need my camera to be safe. This is definitely the strap for me. And then as far as a strap that I could use knowing that I, I'm just you know gonna have a support around my wrist in case I drop the camera, it's around my wrist. Uh, I do like the leather strap. I think the leather strap with the leather slip here is nice, but I probably for my own personal style would go with the paracord just because the paracord uh, matches maybe my style a little bit more. And I know that it's nice and strong, even though <laughs> it could pinch my skin because as you can see here, you know, it's, it can get pretty tight and, uh, uh, you know, paracord is not as soft as this other leather attachment here. So with that said, I'll leave it up to you to check these out and make your own decision. But I think that a wrist strap is definitely a great way to secure your camera and just to make sure that you don't end up dropping it or causing any sort of issues there. So uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section below, which was your favorite, what's your favorite type of strap. And if you have a camera strap that you'd like to share with me, I would love to check it out. So make sure to uh, drop that name down in the comments so that I I can see some of the other options that some of you may be using. But that's going to do it for this video. Thanks a lot, and I hope to see you back in another one soon. Take care.